we don't know what is there in store for tomorrow. I don't know whether there is even going to be exam later on. Is, is the exam the only criteria to assess a child? Are we going to test the child only on the memory? Or are we going to test him for the application? The proposal by CBSE, Central Board of Secondary Education, to introduce Open Book Exam (OBE) for students in classes 9 to 12 marks a significant departure from traditional assessment methods. This move aims to foster a more holistic approach to evaluation, emphasizing critical thinking and application knowledge over a rote memorization. Uh, as discussion unfolds, it becomes imperative to explore the implications, challenges, and potential benefits of this innovative assessment paradigm. Um, I would like to invite uh, uh, Mrs. Lalita Ganapati, who started his career as a kindergarten teacher and went on to become principal of school in Bangalore. Uh, Ma'am, thank you for uh, being on the uh, show with us and thank you for sharing views on OB introduction for CBS, by CBC for grade 9 to 12. Thank you, Mr. Santosh, for inviting me. Thank you, ma'am. So, let me begin by asking you, uh, what do you think, what are the primary objectives behind the CBSE proposal to introduce OBE for students in class 9 to 12? It could be probably to allow all learners to perform. And anyway, this is a pilot project that is going to be introduced from what we understand uh, with the recent new structure. The thing is, uh, they will also take they will see how much time is taken and uh, uh, take a feedback how it went so children are allowed to refer books and notes to answer of course there are uh, you have two types of tests one is restricted and one one is free restricted is where you have an authorized book where from where uh, you take out the uh, concepts and the other one is free from wherever you get it uh, so probably to improve and cultivate critical thinking and also their abilities to analyze questions in an analytical way and apply it it could be for that and also to reform the current assessment processes uh, which is focused on measuring rote learning and at its worst creates fear so maybe to improve that mm -hmm. this could have been thought of Ma'am, do you see any potential benefits and drawbacks? I understand few things, as you already mentioned, uh, but do you see any drawbacks in transition from tran from a traditional closed book exams to OBE format in an edu Indian education system where marks was a so important parameter for going for 11, 12, and 12 after that into a higher education? See, uh, it is not only my opinion that counts, isn't it? So I just spoke to uh, maybe if you ask me, I would say 50-50, all right, because I come from a old school of thought. But if you, and uh, the other thing is, how is it being monitored? That is very important, right? Uh, if this is being done, it should be monitored. And uh, because um, uh, this is being done to help uh, a lot of students, it is not one sector because you have different uh, learners and uh, I spoke to a few people who have completed education and who are professionals, working professionals, just to understand their uh, views. So one of them felt that uh, if it is just copying the answer from the book and then writing it, then I don't, they felt it is not worth it because if it is application based, Yes, it is more, much more welcome. And uh, even if you have an open book test, you also need to know from which chapter or which is the which concept is being, uh, the question is being asked. So all these things also matter. So you, there is also, it is also time bound. So people should know to pick up the right page to, um, select the right answer and write the other person who felt uh, he's also a teacher in a cbsc curriculum a part-timer uh, what he he very much supported this because um what he felt was open book helps in application based, based learning rather than just the theory 
testing students only with the theoretical learning is not fair uh, the current system is focused on memory and based on mugging up from the textbook and vomiting out in the answer paper which does not support learning application has much more real world use than theory which is just knowledge yes no doubt it is important to know the theory to uh, apply but uh, testing the students only on theory is not a welcome affair and not just only to test their memory the other thing what he felt was students are so stressed out that they are not able to remember a lot of things yeah. even in uh, he felt that even in professions people don't look at once theoretical knowledge but how it is being applied is what uh, they look at and uh, the other thing is in theory it's important when you write it theoretically that is when you memorize and write it you need to uh, give the key words when you write the answers if they miss it they lose the marks and that is an additional stress so stress is something he highlighted uh, with the textbook in hand one hand and uh, being able to refer to it and write the answer reduces stress in many ways is the feedback which i got so um, I, i think this generation will definitely welcome this uh, looking at the um, pressure from all sides from home from school from the coaching centers right and will i be able to excel will i be able to perform is something which will always bother so uh, this uh, textbook will be like a savior and could heal that fear or stress that one goes through so can we also predict in case obe is introduced uh, we are likely to not have mcqs which otherwise a very important element in uh, question papers where students would pass because of mcqs or one mark question to mass questions so we won't have only application question based we don't know if we are going to focus on application based see they also think in need to if you have higher order thinking skills which you need to apply one also needs to be thorough with it so whether they will have uh, so probably the questions would be a balance of everything is what i feel that we will come to know only once this pilot project is done and the feedback is taken okay. Okay. right just now it is all over it is all over it but then we need to wait and watch right yeah now well, let us assume that they try to introduce obe in the coming years um, now do you see an effect on the teaching methodologies and assessment strategies Uh, by educators within the within the cps curriculum is going to change a lot now so uh, now we did lot of um, workshops and you know teachers go through professional development so this will also be a part of uh, they will include this also to empower teachers as to how to go about obt you know it is just not chalk and talk and then you finish it off but if you have to do an if you have to appear for an application based question how do you approach it all these will be uh, taught during the professional development and sub- right now you are going to they are going to go for only english math and science for grade 10 and uh, math and bio for grade 11 and 12 right yeah so so let us wait and see how the feedbacks come and how much time children take even with the book in hand let's see so even if you have everything but if you are not able to execute uh, the right way within the stipulated time mm-hmm. will the purpose be served is something what we need to wait and watch okay okay uh, i would like to also understand um, if that is the case so that the teachers have to probably align to a newer way of teaching and probably evaluating it uh, and they'll undergo and probably training in the coming future to come um, what kind of an adjustment students have to who have undergone always a closed book exam so far Do you see it is going to be a challenging for the students, or do you think it's not going to be a that difficult for students? See, challenge whether it's a challenge or not, it is all your mindset, mm-hmm. right? If I am open to mindset, okay, this is this. Uh, uh, if we are able to sail through, nothing will be a challenge. Even in real life, for small things also there are challenges, but there are some who overcome it, but there are some who give it up. right so without challenge there is no growth one right. needs to grow with the challenge and if you, and we cannot be in a comfort zone always right 
but considering the uh, right now the focus is more on socio emotional learning apart from multiple intelligences so that plays an important role uh, so considering open textbook exam maybe because of that children go through emotion and they are not able to manage emotions right you have intellectuals but then suddenly they feel that look i am a loser and i cannot continue we don't want children to take extreme steps in life so that is something which we need to address always from the beginning okay ma'am let me ask it's you okay to score less but there is always life ahead you can cross and you can do well in life true uh, thank you for putting it positively and, and there is still a way to look at it uh, let us uh, take a uh, situation where student of a cbc school in 9th and 10th has a ob format of examination and does a transition to an to a state board for 11th and 12th which is a closed book exam format so what kind of implications do you think it's going to happen for a child because sometimes we they do change the boards or they do go to a different streams because of either they can score easy or they are they think that is they'll have enough time to prepare for an iid je or neat exam so on see usually people choose puc when mostly uh, if you uh, for example if i am not able to score well in my 11th and 12th i will opt for puc right and with my coaching right so i don't think boards it is all the intent that is more important than the board see we don't have to confuse children with you know this we don't have to scare them so we need to go with the flow rather than um, specifying on the board yeah it will be board specific etc but then if somebody is able to do it i think we need to encourage them and go with it and of course in cbse the registration is done for 9th 10th and all that is being done so state board functions in a different way right then state board to puc is what happens yeah no but uh, like, usually yeah let's say i uh, school starts preparing a child from grade 6 or 7 for ob format uh, and the child start learning to write exam in the form of obe which is done by cbc till 10 but up 10th i move to state board to 11th which is a closed book exam so will you do you think the child will be able to cope up with such a big transition from grade 6 to 10 probably child is practiced uh, open book exam to and closed book exam but right now the, there is no open book from 6 standard no it is only a pilot from 9 10 11 12 right right and i'm assuming down the line the schools might start adopting it early so the children are prepared and that we need to have a little bit of research and see so right now it is all in the air right yeah right again we are it is all based on emotions and how we project it mm -hmm. you you can still tell them if you are going to start this from grade 6 the concepts are being made strong and then if the child knows on which page what comes and then he is able to apply it yeah fair enough yeah but, but more so often you when... can do both ways you know yeah you can tell them if you go to this how do you switch over okay So we need to, from the school level, we need to prepare them. Okay. Now, but do you think has a let's say principal of a school which is a state board school, and then a CPC student comes to you, saying who has gone through a different form of examination for till ten? How do you encourage a child to look at uh, a different form of exam which is only for eleventh and twelfth? Uh, I'm just trying to look look at hypothetically how does it look like? That is what we need to wait. See, if I tell something right now, I don't know whether it will be right. But then we have to wait unless you need to have data for this, mm -hmm. right? Right now it is NEP that is being followed and how NEP is progressing, and then how it is helping the child to uh, perform, right? How we are integrating art integration has come. So probably this will be a step by step progression rather than an immediate one. Now. Uh, Op open book is something uh, that is considered to help children, and that is why it is so uh, being piloted now. Looking at the emotional side and uh, what you read on papers, it must be for that. So we have to wait. Okay. But still, if we uh, uh, if the teachers are trained, you know, and uh, to balance this it would be wonderful okay uh on personal note i would like to ask you what is your opinion in terms of, do you think ob is an 
uh, a good move for a student because you've been educated for so many years. Uh, you have seen a process of and traditional exams. You know, every every learning, every year it is a new learning, and every day it's new learning. Today, what you learn tomorrow, it is something different. So I am also learning new things, how to use AI and how to work with it. So right now it is the age of speed and uh, technology. So we don't know what is there in store for tomorrow. I don't know whether there is even going to be exam later on. So we have to wait and watch. Is the exam the only criteria to assess a child? Are we going to test the child only on the memory? Or are we going to test him for the applications? I've been an educator, but all these days I had textbook and then I go by what the textbook says. But now with technology, you can read from anywhere. It is not necessary that I need to follow only certain things. I may add more value or more knowledge by going through technology. So it is all a wait and watch period. And how do we learn and progress ourselves to be in sync? with the education system or with the uh, present day learners because the uh, now they are all uh, children are all born in tech era we were not born in that age so things are different and we cannot say that i know more than you they know more than us so we also learn from children that is how the world is moving yeah let's hope that ob brings a newer change and probably yeah, let us look at the positive side of it and how uh, if it is able to help all types of learners it's wonderful. Yeah, true. Uh, thank you, Mr. Siddhartha Ganpati, for your inputs. And uh, you've always been wonderful sharing your views on any topics I bring to you. Uh, I thank you on, once again. Thank you for making me do research and then, you know, uh, keep my brain tingling. Thank you so much, Mr. Santosh.